Welcome back guys to another Boom Beach video. Today we're going to be doing every single troop verse and all Boom Cannon base and I just bought my instant training for the month using code COSMIC of course. Make sure you guys do plug in a creator code before you buy your subscriptions for the month or when you're about to spend some diamonds you just bought. Helps out a ton. Anyway, let's hop into the video. So when I've done these videos in the past, I try and refrain from using heroes. I'm going to go and go ahead and use heroes today just because um, usually these um, bases, they're a little bit rough on my troops. So we're, we're going to be using battle orders with the all rifleman one. Brick might get picked off actually. I see a boom cannon kind of pointing toward there anyway. Looks like um, Brick got hit by a boom cannon shot, but it didn't matter. Um, we're losing a lot of riflemen here. I'm gonna start throwing out some boxes of critters just to help distract. We're gonna have to pop another battle orders and now we're gonna throw out some shock bombs as well. So I'm hoping we can defeat it with all riflemen because um, if I can't take it out with all riflemen, it's gonna be a rough battle. Now, um, in the past when I've done these videos, once again, haven't used heroes and usually I don't do smoky strategies. But I think today, um, we're just going to try and defeat the base as, uh, you know, as the strategy fits. If, if we have to use Smoky Warriors, I'm not going to have any shame toward it. Smoky Heavies even. Um, yeah, you guys know what's up. But there we go. Taking out the first one. Um, at, at first, I, I didn't think we are going to be able to defeat it because it was taking out so many riflemen. But then, started using my gunbutt energy. No shame in it. Let's hop into the next troop. Next troop is the heavies. This is going to be incredibly difficult. Boom cannons are like the number one threat to heavies. But I think I'm going to try smoky heavies. Um, so what do I want to do? Is I want to try and flare them behind the HQ. There is a couple slots open um, back there. And that's like the only place I can get a flare placed. Um, that'll be beneficial. So what we're going to do. I brought second wind for some reason. I was thinking um, right before. I clicked the test base. I was thinking I would just try and revive as many heavies as possible. But uh, now I switched it up. We're going to be trying smoky heavies. And we got that flare posted behind that HQ. Boom, down goes Dr. Gavon. And now we are almost to our resting place for our heavies. That's going to be a beautiful pocket for the heavies to sit. And um, when the Zookas come in, should I try smoky Zookas? I might do Zookas twice. I might try a regular one. And then I might try Smoky Zooka. So I didn't get that flare onto the HQ. Whoops. We got to throw a flare onto the HQ. And I think we're going to be able to do it. With all the shock bombs and GBE uh, critters, we're, we're going to be able to take this out. I'm surprised. I thought heavies would be like the least likely to take it out. But down goes that base. Let's move on to our first Zooka attack. Um, I think I'm just going to try a Zooka rush for that. So I am doing a Zooka rush with Dr. Kavan's second wind and what I'm going to do is throw two boxes of critters before I place those Zookas down just to make sure they don't get any free picks onto my Zookas. We want to extend them as best as possible here and now we're going to throw a round of shock bombs onto the boom cannons. Oh, the shock bombs and critters are starting to get expensive. Now that we've lost a few, a good amount, I'm going to pop our first revive. Second one coming shortly. I'm throwing two boxes of critters. We're getting a good amount of GBE in return here, but eventually it's going to catch up to us. Um, throwing a second wave of shock bombs just to um, minimize the amount of damage done to our Zookas and we might be able to do this here because we have a fair amount of Zookas left especially the revived ones I might not have to do a smoky Zooka attack and I'm happy for that because usually these video I, I guess boom cannons um, when I did this video last time I think I did all shock launchers um, or every troop verse and all shock launcher base and that took forever since the shock launchers they do AOE damage but um, it's just so little damage it took so long but with the boom cannons either we're going to be able to tear through the base or it's just going to tear through our troops so boom uh, regular Zooka rush took out this base um, second wind was definitely the move I, I don't know if we had a single Zooka standing uh, in the end. That wasn't a revived one. That's okay. Let's move on to the next base. 
When I say next base, I mean next troop, of course. But now we have warriors. I'm excited for this one. It's going to be no problem. What we're doing, we're throwing two smokes for the landing. And then we'll get a flare onto one of the front boom cannons there. Oh, no. We let a round of boom cannon, uh, boom cannons fire onto our troops. Looks like we lost one poor warrior there. Now we're going to throw that flare onto the HQ. It's hard to track where my warriors are. And they have an ugly running pattern. I gotta say, we're gonna be able to take out this base. Um, nonetheless, that's okay. We, oh, look at that taunt. He has that, like, damage reduction because of the taunt. He's eating all those boom cannon shots, and down goes the base. Uh, this is, this is going pretty well, I'd say. We, we haven't lost a battle yet, but next troop is the tanks, and I think we're gonna have to do a tank rush. No way to smoke them. This will probably be our first defeat. Like I said, <sighs> Here are the tanks. So I'm bringing second wind once again. Um, what am I do? I'm going to try something cheesy here. I'm going to throw down Kavan. Pop a second wind just to get some riflemen out. This is cheesy. This is cheesy. Don't kill Kavan. Oh, that was super risky. But we're going to spam it. Try and get some riflemen. And uh, we're just going to... Okay, we already, we already revived the tank there. But we're trying to get as many riflemen in front of the tanks as possible. And now we're going to have to start throwing shock bombs because I threw a box of critters on accident. That's okay. Um, that'll help absorb some of the damage. Our second wind already cost 38 energy. That's pretty expensive. But the amount of riflemen we spawned might help us in this battle. Now, I, did, I was clearing my map earlier and I got my final landing craft upgraded. Um, so I did a super boost on my statues. And I kind of planned it out because I want to be able to destroy this all boom cannon base. And looking at it right now, it's promising. But our troops in front are running. Uh, we're going to have to throw a clutch shock bomb. Take out as many of those boom cannons as possible. What I'm going to do, we're going to consolidate our troops over there. Uh, the, I'm starting to get nervous. We're starting to lose more and more tanks. I'm going to throw a barrage. I'm going to throw some artillery. Try and take out these boom cannons before they can take out my tanks. Down goes Dr. Kavan. Not sure when he died. It must have been recently. And um, yeah, we're, we're going to get an L here. That's pretty sad. But I, I'm proud of my tanks. We, we did that pretty far. I think we clutched the strategy. Um, we did better than I expected, and by we, I mean I. I'm not giving you guys any, I'm just messing with you. But, um, yeah, we were able to make it to the HQ, so dropping that second wind, or, uh, dropping Kavan and popping that second wind a ton helped out a bunch, but now, the, the, the next troop, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know why, but if I don't do medics in one of these videos, a lot of you guys freak out. I get it's every troop, but... Medics seem pretty self-explanatory, but I know if I don't do it, there's gonna be there's gonna be a couple people that uh you, you, they don't appreciate the no medics. So anyway, we're gonna throw down our medics. Are we gonna have a chance? We got second win. Let's revive some medics. Oh no, what are we healing? We just spent all. Oh, down goes Kavan. We got some riflemen. Are we gonna be able to take out a building? Are we gonna be able to take out a boom cannon? Down goes two boom cannons. Make that three. Make it three. Make it three. Come on, come on. Down goes two, two. Do I have a three? Do I have a three? Do I have a three? Down goes three boom cannons with an all medic strategy. Um, all credit to Dr. Kavan second win spawning those riflemen. I'll take it. Um, and now we just wait for the final medics to finally die. Two left. And the final one is taken out. That was a close one. Ooh, that was closer than tanks, I'd say. But anyway, moving on to the next troop. Now, I don't know how I'm feeling about this next one. We have Grenadiers next on the list. I'm going to be trying it with Universal Remote now. I was thinking Critter Spawn. That was like, no, no, no. Grenadiers would just destroy all the critters I spawned. Um, and that's going to be tragic, but the, uh, the passive critter spawn does help out a bit because it distracts the boom cannons. And as we know, grenadiers, they throw much longer than short. Um, so I'm hoping it'll help out universal remote, kind of self-explanatory. Um, we just want to hack some boom cannons here, but we're going to throw down our grenadiers following a box of critters. And now we're going to throw two shock bombs out. I'm going to pop a universal remote, I think. Um, where, where did it hack? Did it hack anywhere? Oh, no. Um, 
uh, uh, Eversparks about to die. She already tanked a boom cannon shot. Let's throw two medics. Well, they oh, that didn't help out at all. Now, it's just up to our grenadiers. It's gonna be a fail because boom cannons, they're just, they're just, uh, they have enough range to take out the grenadiers. And that, that, it's pretty sad. Do they, I, I think they have enough range to take out bombardiers too. And bombardiers sit behind grenadiers. So I guess it's not that close. Um, thinking about it, it's been a while since I've used bombardiers. I'm kind of excited to try them out against this base. I don't think it'll go well. I'm going to bring private bullet with them. But next on the list, is it cryoneers or scorchers? Next on the list might be scorchers. And I'll be able to hold 16 scorchers. Because I just maxed out my landing crafts. Anyway, I didn't really uh, try this battle. I got a lot of energy I could have uh, invested. As soon as Everspark died so early, I kind of gave up. But we're just going to take out a few more buildings. Just to make it look like it was a closer battle than it actually is. Anyway, moving on to the next troop. Okay, we have our Scorchers loaded up with Second Wind. We're hoping to revive a ton of Scorchers here. Anyway, on the landing, throwing a box of critters. The usual. And we're going to have to wait to throw the final few boats of Scorchers out. My, oh my, are they expensive. We'll get one more down. Um, have we lost any Scorchers? Doesn't look like it yet. Uh, it's going to be soon, going to be soon. They are doing work on this base, though. I'm proud of them. There goes a first Scorcher. We're going to pop a Revive. Getting some Riflemen in the mix. But we're going to have to start popping even more Revives here. Get as many Scorchers as we can. Now I'm going to throw some Shock Bombs out. Uh, I think we're going to be able to do this. It might be close, but I have faith. Pop in as many revives as we can. My GBE spending is very inconsistent. Down goes Kavan. He died. Sad. Big sad. But now we're going to throw a couple more shock bombs. We might be able to take out... We're going to be able to defeat it. I, I thought there would be no chance in the world. Scorchers would be able to do it. I don't think... It would have happened without Kavan. True MVP, second win, Dr. Kavan. Boom, down it goes. Surprise of the video along with the heavies. Moving on to the next troop. Guys, this one is like all medics. Crying ears, come on. Why do you guys make me do this? But anyway, you know, we're going to throw our critters out. We're going to throw down all of our crying ears. And now it's time to see the damage the crying ears can do. I got a huge damage boost. Not that it helps much with the crying ears, but we're going to throw some shock bombs out. And we might be able to take out a few boom cannons with those shock bombs out. I am going to throw three barrages, try and get a ton of AOE damage. And um, with the AOE damage, we're going to take out a few of these uh, boom cannons and get some energy in return. And that's going to help out tons. Are we going to... Oh, we're going to have to pop some second wins. So I was looking at that. I was like, oh, these Cryoneers, you know, they might be able to get through like that first line of defenses um as soon as the barrages stopped coming in and as soon as the artillery stopped dropping in from the sky our damage output slowed terribly but guess what with the damage output slowed so are the boom cannons get cryo get cryo neared there um let's try and take out a few more boom cannons here throwing artillery there strategic we might be able to take this out with the few remaining Cryoneers now Kavan is just standing extremely far behind Which means um, We're gonna have to retreat actually he might step into boom cannon range. He was just still chilling in the boat there We weren't able to take out like the first um, The first boom cannon that they target that's pretty sad, but now moving on to the next troop Oh, yeah, it's that time. Let's test out Bombardiers versus an all boom cannon base. I'm excited for this one. Two boxes of critters. We're bringing an energy drink. And now, as we drop our Bombardiers, the critters are just so like the outside boom cannons don't snipe any of our Bombardiers before we want them to. And the, I gotta say, critters doing a fantastic job, especially because we have critters spawned. Um, boosted in the tribes. I forgot there was an extra tribe boost and now that uh, now that those critters are gone We've lost a lot of bombardiers. What happened those boom cannons were just completely ignoring um, Private bullet there and private bullets a little bit insulted He might take it personally here and then he died so bombardiers kind of uh, fail and I think it's because I'm going to blame it on the type of base I made this all boom cannon base. It's not a very deep beast, be, or, uh, landing beach. I cannot speak today. 
And uh, because it was so shallow, they stepped up into uh, too many boom cannon range. So I was uh, I was expecting my expectations were higher for that attack. Um, but moving on to the final troop, we have the Max. Now I have no idea what to expect for this battle because Max. Eh. But also Max. I I don't know. Hopefully that kind of explains my thought process behind it. But we're gonna throw all of our troops down. No, 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 no. If Kavan dies, Kavan died. Kavan died. We're retrying it. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Um, we need to throw box critters on the landing there. All right, guys. Here we are with the Max. I definitely um, didn't throw down my troops and then have uh, Doctor Kavan die right away. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, anyway, throwing down the Max. Now we have Kavan, nice and safe tucked behind our max and he's gonna be essential he was essential in the scorcher battles throwing the critters critter coming in clutch they're distracting so many boom cannons and now we're gonna throw a couple shock bombs so the mech damage output kind of underwhelming and we've already lost a couple i'm gonna pop a revive second one here shortly and i forgot kavan is unable to revive max that is a brain fart uh, interesting. So maybe riflemen aren't the worst thing with that, um, but I, I kind of realized that too late, so the riflemen aren't helping out the mechs at all. Very disappointed with that. Sad uh, there's no second wind eligibility for the mechs. That is a sour way to end. I was, uh, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I thought it would be a major fail or um, a success I would say that was somewhere in between look at we took out a big quadrant in that base probably took out uh, about half of it so I'll take it um, HQ says otherwise though um, but anyway that's it for me today hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know what surprised you the most down below I'm gonna say it was the scorchers um, without a doubt heavies were definitely surprising Zookas I was a little surprised because I did the Zooka rush but again, Scorchers, most surprising. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.